So I said one of the best ways to allocate facility costs are based on square footage. What does that look like? And this sounds like old school, but I've just seen this happen too many times to not share this with you. Somebody gets a hold of a big blueprint and they have a big counter table and they spread that big blueprint out on the table. And then they take highlighters and they mark off, okay, this is the program staff, this is the accounting department, here's the president's office, okay, over here is another program. And they figure out how much square footage is everybody using and then they come up with an allocation percentage. So in a real simple example, let's say that we had $100,000 in facility costs and we just happen to be in a 100,000 square foot building. So 50% of the space is used by program one, 25% of the space is used by program two, and 25% of the space is used by the support functions like the accounting department and the HR department. So we're gonna take that $100,000 worth of cost and we're gonna allocate 50% into program one, 25% into program two, and the administrative functions will pay 25% for their piece as well. That seems like a fairly logical and uh, fair way to do it. So this is what typically happens with cost allocations on facilities. Now you may be back where you're saying we're just gonna put 100% of facilities into indirects and then not worry about it. But remember that whole concept of the fraction. If I can make that base bigger and shrink the top, which is the indirect cost, make that frosting smaller, then my rate will go down. I'm still spending the same dollars, I'm just recognizing how math works by making that base as big as possible.